Okay, so in this activity, we're going to be measuring uh, units of volume, liquid volume. Uh, not mentioned uh, is we're using milliliters for each of these. So remember when we are following the measurement um, procedures, we're always going to take our measurement one decimal place beyond what we see as our um, last one written. So just hang with me here. That's called significant figures. We will get to it. Okay, so first thing we need to do is figure out what the scaling is. And here's 50 and here's 60, which means each of these is worth one milliliter. Okay, so that's the ones place. So this is directly on the 56. So we know the ones. That means we have to estimate the tenths. Notice how it's directly on this line. That's the bottom of the meniscus, the curvature of the liquid. So we're going to call it 56.0 milliliters. Okay, so in this one, it looks like each of these lines are worth one tenth. So this is 4.5, so this is 4.1234. So we definitely know it's 4.3, but it's a little bit beyond. I would say it's right in the middle. So since we know the tenths, we estimate the hundredths, 4.35. Okay, this one we cannot go that far. We cannot estimate two decimal places because these, each of these are worth one whole milliliter. So 21, 22, 23, 24. So it's 23 point six. Now what if you say, eh, I think that's 0.5 or oh, I think that's 0.7. That's fine because that last estimated digit is indeed that estimation and um, we know that as chemists okay so looks like each of these is worth one two three four one milliliter so 15 16 17 so it's definitely 16 but we have to estimate now read from the bottom of the curvature I'm gonna go with point eight you want to say point nine fine do it all right one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it looks like each of these are worth one milliliter. So here's 75, here's 76. Don't leave it as 76 milliliters. We have to estimate one beyond. So if each of these are written to the one milliliter, we have to go to the next decimal place. So that's right on the line, so it's going to be zero. Notice with this one, one, two, three, four. Oh, this looks like it's to the point twos. So uh, if we know that first decimal place, which is the tenths place, we can go to the hundredths. So here's 5, 5.2, 5.4. So in between 5.2 and 5.4, we're going to go 5.3. Uh, Hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. Next one. So we have... Um, it looks like each of these are going by twos, two milliliters, so 32, but we have to estimate one beyond, 0, 0.0. Um, the next one, these are going by, let's see, 0.2s, so 3.2, 3.4, 3.6, 3.8, so 3.245, and this last one, 45, 46, 47, but it looks like it's right on there. All right, now that I'm looking back, I'm looking back, this is, a, I, I kind of made a mistake. Oops, sorry. So this one, I guess you can get rid of the zero because it's going by point twos and not point ones. And the same with this one. I got to tell you, we're not going to get this in depth with our grad cylinders. If you can answer the ones that go to the uh, most of these, you're, you're fine. And if you were to say 5.30, it'd be okay. But remember, we should really always go one decimal place beyond the last uh, designated value. Okay, hope I didn't mess you up too, up too much. Sorry for my mistake. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.